Hello students, in previous class we have seen the first part of the second chapter and today we will see the second part which is forecasting and on this part first we will try the features of forecast then we will try the steps in forecasting process and we will see also approach to forecasting. So first let us define what's forecasting. Here forecast is a statement about the feature value of a variable of interest such as demand. It is a statement about the feature value of a variable of interest such as demand or we can say that supply. Any feature statement about a variable of interest, supply, demand or other variables then we can say that forecast or and the process we call it forecasting and people make and use forecasts all the time both in their jobs and also in everyday life in everyday life for example we forecast answers to questions and then make decisions based on their forecasts and forecasts are based for in business if you see forecasts are based for budgeting and it's based for planning capacity for sales activities, for production and inventory, personnel, purchasing and more. So forecasting is important in our daily life and also in the business environment. Forecasts affect decisions and activities throughout an organization. It's obvious that forecasts affect decisions within an organization and forecasts affect decisions and activities throughout an organization. For example, affects accounting department, Forecast affects finance department, forecast affects HR department, forecast affects the marketing department or the marketing activities, the promotional activities, the sales activities, forecast affects management information system department or information system department, forecast affects operations department or forecast affects also product and service design. So forecast affects all activities of an organization and when it's used of forecasters forecast can be used for accounting department can we can use it for finance department for human resource department and for other departments for example for accounting for cost and profit estimates in order to estimate the cost and profit amount then we have to use the forecasting process in order to determine the cash flow and funding activities in order to determine hiring, recruitment and also training activities in HR department in order to forecast pricing activities, promotion activities in order to forecast information systems and also services in order to forecast schedules, MRP workloads and also new products and services then we have to use forecast or forecasting techniques and let us see common features of forecasts Forecast assumes causal system. A past, we have past information, then we assume or we predict such past amount will continue with the future. So, forecasts are rarely perfect because of randomness. Actual results usually differ from predicted values. So, it's not possible the forecast amount will always equal to the actual amount because there is a randomness activities here forecast is more accurate for groups than for individuals it's obvious if you forecast for group activities then such one is more accurate than for individual activities and forecast accuracy decreases as time horizon increases when time horizon increases then the forecast amount decreases or the forecast accuracy amount decreases that is time but I'm actually a forecast amount of action cacto aruga a cool probability chamber time again but I'm a regime is a most to call a ceramic hammer forecast in our corner cacto aruga different marabu probability chamber the let us the basic elements of a good forecast first a good forecast is timely second should be reliable and also accurate accurate as much as possible the actual should be equal to the forecasted amount and it should be cost effectiveness or cost effective 
and it should be meaningful and as much as possible it should be easy to use and also written so these are elements of a good forecast then let us step in the forecasting process here we have around six steps that we can mostly use for for forecasting process first we have to determine the purpose of forecast what is the purpose of the forecast so first we have to determine such one then we have to establish a time horizon for two years for three years for five years for ten years we have to establish a time horizon then we have to select a forecasting technique there are different techniques for forecasting purpose so we can select from such techniques then we have to gather and analyze data we have we should have data or information then we have to make the forecast then lastly we have to monitor the forecast or we have to follow up the forecasting process then let us see types or approaches of forecasts first we have judgmental type of forecasting and such one uses subjective inputs or it's mostly qualitative second we have time series and such one uses historical data assuming the future will be like the past we have past information and such past information will be like will be the future so we have past information then we have we can forecast the future information then we have also associative models use explanatory variables to predict the future y is equal to mx plus p it is simply near regression model so such type of regression regression model or model we call it associative models or correlational and also regressional type of model so we have different types of model so first let us judgmental forecasts and here we have different types of judgmental type of forecast and such one is subjective such one is subjective so first for example executive opinions the manager which the expert or just statements have a corner managers especially top level managers or ceos we call it executive opinions second we have sales force opinions sales force which normally in this opinion men kabel kona such one is also part of judgmental forecast consumer service questionnaire men betten kona or survey men nakayel kona the consumer such one is also judgmental forecast outside opinion if we take outside opinion or external opinion such one is also part of judgmental for delphi method opinions of managers and staff if you take achieves a consensus forecast so we have different types of judgmental forecasts time series forecasts or behaviors and here we have to consider trend and here we have to take long term movement in data we have to take long term movement especially 10 years data 10 years data so types of time series forecasts nev could be nev simple moving average weighted moving average exponential smoothing and s with trend and seasonability so let us see one by one the first one is the name forecasts yeah give me a minute we sold to five zero wells last week now next week we should sell such amount so the forecast for any period equal is the previous period's actual value so last week let me talk about next week let me talk about last week meto bishet next week meto yemil kone such type of forecast we call it we call it ne forecast so if you have last week 250 then next week also we have 250 if you have 300 last week then next week also 300 just so such type of forecast we call it ne forecasts ne forecast simple to use it's very simple to use virtually no cost because last week in a borrow next week can replicate your regular assume in our corner so there is no cost we can say that data analysis is, no, is non-existent no need of data analysis and easily understandable and cannot provide high accuracy the accuracy of the forecast is very low accuracy very very low we can say that so techniques for averaging also we have moving average weighted moving average and also exponential smoothing moving averages moving average a technique that averages a number of recent actual values updated as new values become available so average of a number of recent actual values but we have to determine the recent the number of recent actual values so moving average of n is equal to the summation of a 
which is actual value divided by n and this one is time period so here we have moving average we have different types of moving average the first one is simple moving average smooths out randomness by averaging positive and negative random elements over several periods and for example here number of periods and in this example if you use four so we have one two three four seventy four plus nine zero plus hundred plus six zero divided by we have four periods four we have eighty one so I'm missing your period ga for the cost to send you not so many and you know that so you said this thing on period the mistrats the six period for the cost or simple moving for the cost in the mistrat so I'm not in the town that I'm not plus hundred plus salsa plus here so many I'm in the camp on us I'm on a sick cafe yeah all right we have 82.5 so we have 82.5 as you know we call it simple moving average so points to know on moving averages and the advantage is that easy to compute and understand it's very easy to compute and also understand and the disadvantage is that all data points were created equal because so probably so in this advantage the mass of good we have to use weighted moving average weighted moving average similar to a moving average method except that it assigns more weight to the most recent values in a time series here demo are at period in the time corner the time recent law no weight more weight in that island rack lalo the more weight in can salon so we have number of periods a weight applied to period t minus i plus one so we have for example the first period 0 0.6 the second period 0 0.3 the third period we have 0 0.4 0 0.1 weight been set so here for the casts i mean here we have 46 48 47 23 so we have three period number of periods 48 Times, but I'm here. I copied it zero zero point one plus twenty seven times zero point three plus twenty three times zero point six divided by three. Let's make one that's it. Oh, our last period in the time corner is supposed to cut the time and then your period. I wait I know wrong yeah that's not a segment so that's all it meant that's in general then here's 35.6 decimal comes out in general then we have exponential smoothing exponential smoothing here we have for the caster time ft is equal to ft minus one ft minus one is previous period plus a the alpha smoothing constant times a T minus one that means actual result previous period minus forecasted previous period we can say that basically comes out in general so we have this one simpler equation equivalent to weight moving average a exponential smoothing parameter we have ft ft minus one plus alpha at minus one ft minus one so alpha we have 0 0.1 so is it in period let me start or so let's not always let me that is equal to previous period for the cast we have 72 plus alpha value we have 0 0.1 times actual value sabarat minus for the cast we have 72 is equal to 7 is equal so previous for the cast as well again previous period actually as well again and we need also alpha value as well for the customer exponential is moving alpha 0 0.3 behold we have for the first period 37 here we have i mean yeah 37 f3 lemasrats this one is actual sorry 
this one is actual value. Then f to the mesrat, f to the mesrat. Previous period, we have 37 for the casted plus 0 0.3. 37 because actual momentum of course, and a minus salasa sabat centimeter salasa sabat. So, one is for the cast for the second period. Third period, let me start F3 is equal to previous period for the cast diagonal salasa sabat plus 0 0.3 times previous period actual salasa sabat. No, I mean, if you play Arba Malatino. 40 minus salasa sabat centimeter salasa sabat meter centimeter. So we call it exponential smoothing. So basically, we forecast my region. So alpha value here is 0.3, here alpha value 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So in the first period, always meter was first period. For the cast line, we slim it. Salasa sabat low let me take an chill and zigan to take care. The other technique is associative or linear trend equation. Associative or linear or linear regression type of equation. We have such type of uh, linear equation and yt is a dependent variable is equals a plus bt. And yt is forecast for period t, b is the slope of the line, and t is specified number of time periods. Time period six, seven, eight, just like that, and a is alpha value of f t at t is equal to zero. So we have this one, and here we have to calculate the value of a and the value of b. A the magnet, we have the summation of y minus b times the summation of t divided by n. B the magnet and times the summation of t y minus the summation of t times the summation of y divided by n times the summation of t square minus the summation of t the whole square. So First, we have to find the value of b and the value of a. The value of b and the value of a again, then y is equal to a plus bt in formula minus. So if you have this one, linear trend equation example, time week, the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth, and the fifth week. So first we have to find the summation of t. We need the summation of t in order to find b. We need the summation of t. The summation of t means and let's we start at times sit down now. We have as ramist. Summation of t square as ramist in square scenario. We have 225. Then we need also the summation of t square. The summation of t square means this one. The summation of t square. First we have to square t. One square, two square, three square, four square, five square. So summation of t square we have 55. Then we have y amount, the summation of y, 812. And t times y, 150 times 1, 150, 2 times, we have this one, the summation of ty, 2499. So in this value, then we can find the value of b and the value of a. So the value of b means we have this one, n times the summation of ty minus summation of t the summation of y and divided by summation of t square the summation of t the whole square so we can search one so b is equal to this one 6.3 a is equal to 143.5 in kagenyan y is equal to in bilanal, a plus b times t s we have 143.5 plus b 6.3 times then t in the first period in the y in the second period in the y the third period in the y in the y in the in the y so basically for the customer so we have to find the value of b and the value of a first in order to use the formula so in the case of y billion for the cast amount billion the formula take the answer in the y so the disadvantage of simple linear regression is that apply only to, li to linear relationship with an independent variable. We can only apply such type of technique if there is a linear relationship with an independent variable and the dependent variable x. 
there should be a linear relationship. Why is chamber x ma chamber y si kanis x ma kanis yung mga dal. One is a considerable amount of data to establish the relationship. Relationship create la mara gay kito we should have enough amount of data. Ten years, twenty years, data has been given. All observations are weighted equally. So these are some of the disadvantages of such type of techniques. So source of forecast errors the model may be inadequate. Sometimes the model may be inadequate. Irregular variation may be occur. And the forecast technique may be used to incorrectly or the results misinterpreted or there are always a random variation in the data. These are some of the source of forecasting errors. So when you summarize forecasting technique, no single technique works in every situation. So it all depends on the situation. When the technique in the situation will lie each other. Sometimes subjective and sometimes more objective on a technique and sometimes trained type of technique and sometimes weighted moving average and it's and take a Two most important factors we have to consider cost and also accuracy. Other factors include the availability of historical data. We have to check the availability of historical data. We need historical data, for example, to use trend. Uh, we have to use also computers and time needed to gather and analyze data. We should have enough time in order to gather and also analyze data. So these are in the notes for forecasting technique. I think it is enough for today and next time we'll see the third chapter. See you.